Hey YouTube, Mike that tankless guy here. How are we all doing today? Hope we all had a safe and productive week. I apologized last week about that audio. I have no idea what was going on with it, but uh, cleaned the camera up, tested it, tested the mic again. It seems to be working. So, all right, <laughs> you're gonna have to excuse me. I still have this damn cough. Um, so just pardon me if I start hacking up a lung here. All right, today's video, again, is now part two of when I showed you um, Navion's um, concentric venting. So we're going to show you how to cut the concentric venting. Now, concentric venting basically is used on units that are non-condensing, so they're lower efficient. And it's a pipe within a pipe. So you have your inner pipe, which is either a poly or a metal and that's where your exhaust will go out. The outer pipe, so excuse me, the inner pipe is where the exhaust goes out. That will have, be either a poly or a metal. Then your outer pipe is where the air will come in. So in this case, the flow is this way. The air, the flow of gas is this way. And the fan draws air this way. And it goes in with um, an outer and an inner gasket. But with this, it's not like you just take a saw and chop. Like, you got to cut a piece. Now, this is a 19-inch piece. You got to cut a piece 16 inches. And you don't just cut through it. There's a special way to cut it. There's a special way to measure it. Let me just move this over a little bit. Maybe I'll get a little better lighting here. Yep, there we go. So, when you're measuring this, if you look inside, and it's very hard to see it, there's, you see that white, there's a white like hold down, holder piece there. There's another one there, another one there. If you look in there, there's a stop. That stop ends about right here. So you're measuring from here out. So you, this is your engagement. But it's your engagement for the white. So when the white goes into a fitting or into this hub, it's going in this deep, but the inner pipe, now, whether, like I said, whether it's a poly, which this is, or it's um, a metal, see, this is the U-Bank. U-Bank for like a Renault unit has the same outer white plastic, but then PP, poly inside for their units and metal inside for their non-condensing. But with Navion, all of their condensing units, which when we get to the NPE model, you'll understand is just two inch schedule 40. With this is for their U universal. Now it's a metal outside, a metal inside, but the, um, what we're going to go over right now is exactly what you would need to do to cut this. Because the inner pipe, as you can see, is a half inch longer than the outer pipe. Now, tools. You're gonna to need some type of large paper for, as a wraparound. And I'm just using this booklet. You can buy some construction paper that's, you know, the paper needs to be roughly about 18 inches, 17 inches long. And it could be four inches wide. Uh, some tape, marker, pencil, file, a sawzall, a multi-tool, a multi-tool with bits. And I like to use this sanding bit or this brush bit for metal. And you could also use a knife. A razor knife, whatever, utility knife whatever. All right, so we're going to measure out what we need. So we need to have a piece that's, now I'm going to do this from the side. Now normally I have my helper holding this. So you're going to be doing this with two, per, two people. And that's why I'm doing this with a poly inside because it's easier for me to do it than to have the metal, but it works the exact same way for any of the concentric venting. 
So now I'm going to measure back. So we're measuring from the white and I need say a 15 inch piece. All right. So I'm going to take my marker and I'm measuring 15 inches. So you see here, I measured from the white to the 15 inches. So I have my mark right there. So now you want to take your wrap around because you want to try to get a nice, because remember, you're not chopping this like a chop saw. You're going to be um, going around with this. So you want to take your wrap around and you want to get it on the, the line, nice and square. Put a couple of pieces of tape. So you get your wrap around. You know, it, it, it could be, just get it square. And then put your first piece of tape on it. Then you want to take the other side of the wrap around and you want to mate it perfectly. And I'll show you this in a second as soon as I get the tape on it. So you want to mate it to the at surface and you're on the mark. Now, so then you just take your magic marker and just follow the wrap around. Remember, take your time. You remember, this has got to be like perfect because if it's not, all it's going to do is create noise within the system. And yes, I'm downstairs today. I didn't feel like making a mess upstairs. Plus, I still got to clean up from the um, uh, All right, so now we have our perfect line going all the way around. Nice and square. Because what you want to do is you're going to make small cuts. Because remember, you're not going to go right through. So you're going to make small cuts on the line. Spinning it. See how I'm spinning it? Now, of course, if it's the metal, it's going to be a lot tougher. with the metal, you could do the line there. Almost there. your piece you cut off and there is your now we're going to clean this up later now on certain pieces you can actually remove the inside of it so now you want to be a half inch longer than the white pipe so you put your mark right there and now with this pipe and you can actually pop out with screws, you pop out the center. Most pipe will come out like that. Then you can actually, let me grab, I know I got another piece of paper here. You could take another wrap around.
put it on your mock. So you see, I mean, this is an unedited video. Shows you exactly how long it would take to do this. And this is me alone. And yes, granted, I have done hundreds of these. So you got your wrap around again. And then you just follow. And this, you basically want to know that you're going to go straight through with this. Okay, so there's that. See? Got your perfect circle, or your ring. Then take your sawzall. Now with this, you can go straight through. There's your piece, there's your other end. So now, <coughs> you want to take your knife, and you can even use one of those uh, reamers that you would ream copper out with. You want to clean up. Clean up the inside. It's like, like cutting when you cut PVC. Sometimes we even take a compressor and we, we have the compressor. We use the air to blow out the um, pots in there. So now I want to take my sander piece. Nice and clean. So there's your inner, and then your outer. You're going to do the same thing. Clean that up real good. You can actually take your file. Okay, that's nice and clean. Now you're going to take your, put your pipe back together. And there you go. It's cut and it's a half inch longer. You want to give it a little bit more bevel with the tool, but it with this, especially with the poly, you have to apply some of that grease and it'll slide right in. So that is what you would need to do to cut. Um, a piece of concentric piping. Just remember, you're not cutting straight through it. You want to have the inner a half inch longer than the outer. All right? All right, YouTube. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. It's a big question that I get, um, especially guys that just think they cut it and then they have a problem because what's going to happen is if you cut the inner the same as the outer, you're going to be actually, the fan will be sucking the carbon monoxide that's going out the middle of the pipe back in, back to the burner and be using CO to create combustion. And then the, the, the unit just makes a lot of noise. So that's um, why you have to be very careful. You take your time. As you can see, it took, what, about 20 minutes to do the whole thing. Um, you know, metal, you know, it should take about 30 minutes 
or so, once you get um, accustomed to it, it's going to take you. It'll be faster. All right, YouTube, um, I'll have my uh, email um, in the description below. If you're interested in my training, uh, just email me and I'll, I'll send you the information. Or if you have a question, uh, you'll um, uh, just email me. Uh, but I also, um, I don't know if I'm going to do it this video, but maybe next video, I started a Patreon um, page to help out with uh, the, the hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of questions that I get. Um, and I do spend countless hours at night uh, with it. So, um, you know, that's what I just started, this Patreon page. Okay? All right, YouTube. Again, thank you for all the comments, the subscribes, the likes. Hit that notification button and or bell, ding dong, uh, and it'll notify you when I uh, um, post a video. Okay? You all have a nice weekend. You all be safe out there, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye now.